वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you greetings to all welcome to analog electronics lab 1 now we are going to look into the bjt voltage divider wire circuit Here we replace the R B circuit in the fixed wire circuit with R one and R two. Uh, our main motive is the designing of voltage divider wires. The given specifications are V C C is equal to fifteen volt, V C E is equal to seven point eight five volt, I C is equal to two point seven five milliamp, and the beta value of the V J T is three seventy five. Here we know that I B is equal to I C upon beta. That gives us I B is equal to 7.3 microamp. Hmm. I C is equal to I E. Therefore, by Ohm's law, R E is equal to V E by I E gives us V E by I C. That is R E is equal to 0.545 kilo ohms. Now, applying K V L to the output, we get V C C minus I C R C minus V C E minus I E R E is equal to zero. That gives us Rc is equal to Vcc minus Vc minus Ve upon Ic. Thus, Rc is equal to 2.05 k. Now let us look into the. Now let us obtain the values of R1 and R2. Here the equivalent circuit of voltage divider bias is drawn. Uh, let us calculate the Thevenin's voltage and the Thevenin's resistance. Uh, we know that Thevenin's voltage is given by Vcc into R1. Upon R1 plus R2, VCC applied is 15 volt. That gives us VTH is equal to 15 into R1 upon R1 plus R2. Whereas RTH value comes out to R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. We know that RTH is equal to 0.1 into 1 plus beta RE. So that comes out to be 9.592. Thus, as we know the value of RTH, we can apply KVL so that we get VTH, that is V Thevenin, minus IB RTH minus 0.7. This cell 0.7 is VBE minus VE is equal to zero. As we know the value of RTH, we can calculate the value of VTH that comes out to 1.25 volts. As we have the two equations of VTH and RTH, that is. Uh, the unknowns are R1 and R2. We can the, we can find the values of R1 and R2. Now here we can see that the two equations that we have got is 1.25 is equal to 15 R1 upon R1 plus R2 from VTH and 9.592 is equal to R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 from RTH. Therefore, as we have two equations and two unknowns, we can find the value of R1 and R2. That comes out. Uh, R1 is equal to 9.87 kilo ohms and R2 is equal to 115.5 kilo ohms. Now let us look at the implementation of voltage divider bias circuit on the breadboard. Hmm. So, as you can see, this is how the circuit is implemented on breadboard. These are the values which we got by the calculation, or these are the calculated values which we got. And as you can see, the emitter is grounded by this RE resistance. So, this is the RE resistance. Um, And we have RC which is connected to VCC. This is the RC which is connected to VCC, and R1 and R2 are here. Uh, since we have increased the value and we were not having the perfect value, hence we have applied two different resistors. And through this, now we are going to find the value of IC, VC, and IV. Here we are giving 15 volts power supply. Now let us observe the values of VCE and IC. Uh, for VCE, we will first observe the value of VC and then VE. And VCE is VC minus VE.
here we can note that VC value is 11.8 and VE is 3.1 that gives us VC as 7.7 .7. that is close to our consider, uh, given value now let us calculate IC for IC we will connect the positive oximeliometer to the collector and the negative to emitter here we can see that uh, IC is 2. Point, uh, close to 3 and our given value was 2.75 so we can say that our voltage divider bias is correct in the given terms thank you